Hi, this is Worth Godwin of WorthGodwin.com. In this video newsletter, I want to talk about a couple of computer terms. One is dial-up and the other one is broadband. And I'm going to explain what these terms mean and uh, help you understand what the difference is between the two things. And I'm also going to explain why it can be a really big mistake if you're still using dial-up and why you really should be using broadband if it is all possible where you live. Now there are some people who live out in the country or in some place where there just is no option to get broadband and they're sort of stuck with dial-up. So hopefully that will change for you soon, but for anybody else who has the option, you really should be using broadband and I'm going to explain why in just a moment. So let's talk a little bit about these two terms. So the first one is dial-up, and what that is, both dial-up and broadband are ways of connecting to the internet. Now, dial-up has been around for a long time now. It's actually been around for decades. And uh, in the very early days, it was the only real option for connecting to the internet, at least if you were at home. You might have had a different option if you were at a university or in some large uh, institution of some sort, a business or something. But basically, for anybody at home, the only option was dial-up. Now, dial-up uses something called a dial-up modem, and it takes the signals that are inside of your computer, the electronic signals, and then it converts them into, or modulates them, into sound. Just like when we're talking on the phone, of course, we talk with sound, and that sound is converted into an electronic signal in the phone, and then sent through the lines and then convert it back into sound so that the person on the other end can hear. The same basic thing happens with a computer and with a dial-up modem, except that conversion process happens twice on each end. You have the electronic signal inside the computer, it gets converted or translated, like translating into another language, into sound, and you may have heard those screeches and the high-pitched tones that happen when you connect to, a com to the internet with dial-up. That sound is actually going on all the time, you just can't hear it normally. And so those sounds then get converted back into electronic signals, go through the telephone line, get converted back into those screeching noises, and then converted again back into electronic signals inside of the computer. Now as you might imagine, just like when you can uh, or translate one language into another, unless you are perfectly fluent in, those both, in both languages, there's a little bit of a delay as you think, okay, what does that word mean? And you're translating. Same thing happens. You have a delay and a slowdown of the whole process. So in part for that reason, and also just because of the limitations of how fast this type of signal can go through a telephone line, dial-up is very slow and it has not improved in any significant way in about 10 years. And 10 years in a computer terms is a really, really long time. So basically anybody using dial-up still is using technology that has not advanced in over 10 years and that may not sound like a long time but again it's really, really long time in computer years. It's as much as 200 years in equivalent terms so you're driving a horse and buggy on a highway if you're using dial-up. Okay, So the alternative to dial-up is broadband. Broadband is simply a high-speed connection and it is a newer type of connection. It's been around for a while now, but uh, and there's a couple of varieties of it, or sign uh, major varieties of it. And um, basically, the broadband connection, it goes through your uh, cable connection, just like the same cable connection that you use for cable TV, or it will go through DSL, which actually does go through your telephone lines, but it uses a different method, and so you don't have that sort of double conversion process going on. Uh, or at least it's not exactly the same and so it doesn't have that same limitation of slow speed that dial-up does. So it does go through the telephone lines but it doesn't have that limitation of speed and as a nice side effect uh, it also doesn't tie up your phone line so people calling you don't get a busy signal and you are able to make phone calls while you're using the internet. So basically that's that's what the difference is and you can really one way of thinking about it is the difference between um, pipes and so if you have pipe coming into your house or pipe going into say a bathtub or something like that and you're trying to fill it up 
using dial-up is like filling the bathtub up with a straw and using broadband is like filling up the bathtub with a, a large pipe or you know the regular uh, tap in, in the bathtub. Obviously the larger pipe works a lot faster and a lot better for something like filling up a tub. Now if you're trying to just fill a glass up the straw isn't too bad an option. So the thing is a lot of people think you know what do we need it for and in fact uh, in a recent poll I read that 62% of people who are using dial-ups never see any reason why they're ever going to go to to broadband. This is actually a mistake. There's two good reasons for this. One is websites in general are getting larger. Over time they're getting larger because the assumption by the people who make the websites is that everyone's going to be using broadband anyway so we might as well throw in a bunch of bells and whistles. Now Arguably, they shouldn't be doing it quite as much as they should, as they do, maybe. But that's just the way the things are going. Now, you may be watching this on a video. If you're watching this, if you have a, a broadband connection, you probably are watching this on a video. You may be seeing it on uh, my website. You may have gotten it through my newsletter, or possibly elsewhere. And um, if you're on dial-up you might not actually be able to watch this video and if you're a newsletter subscriber you probably uh, you may have at least listen decided to listen to it as audio only which works just fine for dial-up users but because you're on dial-up there's a good chance that if you try watching this video or other videos online what happens is either you either can't play it at all or more more likely it will play but it will sort of play and then pause and then play and then pause and then play and then pause and just keeps sort of stuttering like that um, and it's really you can't really in practical terms you can't watch it so video is becoming more and more popular on the internet and of course you're being left out if you're using dial-up also if you are uh, you've got friends who like to email you things it's very common these days to be sending large attachments and of course I just mean um, you know pictures or video a movie file of some sort or a variety of other possible types of files and so people attach them to the email they send it to you and I've heard this time and time again from my clients they will think that there's something broken with their connection and they'll have to call up the internet service provider for help or they call me for help because they're going to check their email and they're sitting there and they're sitting there and sitting there and it's where's the email why isn't it coming in it's because someone sent them an attachment and if they had a if you had a fast connection to the internet it wouldn't be a problem it might be a little slower to, to download or receive those emails but it wouldn't take 30 45 minutes an hour or more as it does with dial-up so these are good couple of good reasons not to be using dial-up but the other really big reason that most people don't ever think of is security it's incredibly important to get security updates for your computer these come as Windows updates on a Windows computer or software updates on a Mac and just recently I've seen the software update for Mac that was over 500 megabytes in size which is huge for an update compared to what they used to be. The average size is getting bigger and bigger and bigger. If you don't have these security updates, your computer is very vulnerable to many threats. This is true for Windows or Mac users. Because Mac users, while they have fewer threats, there's still possibilities and you need to have the, the updates. And so if you've got a dial-up connection, you get a 500 megabyte download, it's not gonna happen. You might be able to do it, but it would take it could potentially take days. I've literally seen that happen before. So to protect yourself, if you have the option at all, get dial-up and stop get rid of dial-up and go to broadband, DSL, cable, or what have you. It really can make a big difference and open up new possibilities for you as to things you can enjoy online, and also it helps protect you and keep you safe. So I hope that makes sense. And uh, if you've got any questions, if you're a newsletter subscriber, please shoot me an email. I like to hear from people and I like to get suggestions or questions so I have new lessons and topics to cover. If you're not a subscriber yet, please feel free to go to worthgodwin.com and sign up for my newsletter. And I'll see you there.